what's Hobbs doing here with his tongue? If you said smelling, I'm sorry, you're wrong. Wrong! Wrong! But it's not your fault. This has been the description of this behavior for, well, pretty much forever. Just about anyone trying to teach anyone else anything to do with snakes says that this is how snakes smell. I've described it that way myself many times. Why you always lying? Well, mostly because it was thought that for a long time, this is exactly what they were doing. Even now that we know more, it's still entrenched in the common knowledge. And it is the simplest way to convey what's actually going on here conceptually. So if snakes don't smell with their tongue, what do they smell with? Well, their nose just like you probably, and me. They take in air loaded with the smelly bits, which is detected by olfactory sensors up in the schnoz that transmits data to the brain. The tongue itself has no olfactory gustatory, that's a fun word for taste, or chemical sensors itself. Its job is to collect information as part of a system that goes way beyond something as pedantic as smelling. Olfaction is certainly part of it, but it's way more than just taking a sniff. When a snake flicks their forked tongue, the tines create tiny vortices that collect all sorts of olfactory and other chemical bits. They bring these into their mouth, where the tines rest into slots that seal against the roof of the mouth. Then powerful bursts of saliva pressure wash the tines of the tongue, shooting whatever was collected into two passages on the roof of the mouth, leading to the vemoronasal organ, VMO. All of this happens as much as 15 times a second, by the way. Just Keep that in mind, it's crazy. Highly sensitive detectors in the VMO transmit that olfactory and other chemosensory information to the brain where it is interpreted helping the snake decide on what to do next. Neat, eh? There's a full video about all of this on my channel, go check it out. So is it that bad to say snakes smell with their tongue? No. It may be unnuanced, but it conveys the concept well enough for most people. Just tuck it away as a fun fact for yourself to whip out one day when you want to seem really smart. You're welcome. Thanks for watching and until next time remember to nurture all nature. Bye!